So the How to Add Rises World event in Diablo 4 is actually an incredible way for you to earn easy and high level specific loot for your build. Let me explain. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'm giving away an ultimate edition version of Diablo 4. To be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Good luck. So the How Tired Rises event is a unique world event that lasts one hour, morphing a region of Sanctuary into a cloudy red misty kill fest. When the event is available, it's obvious via your map. As you will see, a section of your map is shadowed over in red. Now these How Tired events only become available upon you completing the main campaign story, then completing the Cathedral of Light Capstone Dungeon on a World Tier, and then switching over to a World Tier 3. And you are basically set. There is, I believe, a priority quest which will pop up within Kyova Shad, which you will need to pick up, which briefs you about these How Tired events. So once you are set, keep an eye out on your map. When one appears, your goal is to roam said areas and kill enemies within them. Keep in mind, enemies here are normally always a higher level than you by one or two levels. But upon you killing enemies, they drop most of the time cinders. Now cinders are a currency you can only spend during the event which you earn them in. And you can spend them on chests you can see on your map within same said areas. Now these chests cost different sums of cinders, some 75, some 125 and some even higher. But what's great about these chests is they guarantee specific loot types, as chests are named with what they will drop, i.e. helm, amulets, weaponry, etc, etc. So if you are looking for a specific piece for your build, these are worth you doing. Plus the fact that they do drop great loot at the same time. Now there is also guys during these how tired events, a special chest you can use which drops an insane amount of legendaries. These chests are called the Torture Gift of Mysteries. These require 170 of those cinders, but I do again drop a ton of legendaries. Now these chests are different. As far as I'm aware, they do not appear on your map until you are right close to them, and there's a chance that they might not be even in that said area you're at. But thanks to the guys over at Game Skinny website, I can show you where these are in said specific areas, or a chance of where they can appear, where you may be taking part in the Helltide event. These can be seen on screen now. I will also link the website down below if you do want to check them out and maybe save these images for yourself. But yes, if you ain't after a specific piece and don't want to farm the Helltide for that reason, but you do want tons of legendaries, well this is your best bet. Now I have done a couple of these Helltide events, and for sure the best one to do in my opinion is this one around this area on the map. Not only are there loads of chests for you to collect, but there are tons and tons of enemies here too, so you're actually able to open all of the chests. Some of the other areas I've done these events at are a little short on those enemies and you find yourself actually looking for them, where in this area most of the time the enemies are looking for you, there are that many of them. So yes guys these are definitely worth your time doing them as they can indeed like I said drop amazing loot for your build, so when you see one especially in this area and you got free time, go ahead and do it, they last an hour, you have plenty of time so go get that loot people. And there we have it, the end of the video has arrived. Guys, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.